It's, it was an email from Gerard that set me thinking, Gerard Martin, my, my partner in crime, he said uh, in this email, he says, hey, how about if we do something that's sort of inspired by Richard Diepenkorn, who's a great influence, um, and a San Francisco painter who worked with abstraction and color fields and, and was very much working with observed painting, but moved in and out of those realms. And there's this freedom in his work that I love. And I was so excited because Gerard was kind of inviting me to kind of step you know, into, that, into that realm. And um, so I began working on this series of, of pieces that had that expressiveness that uh, I kind of, you know, I kind of, you know, was longing to jump into anyway. I, I know that Aaron has a long history here, her family goes way back, and, um, and I was the first generation, my parents, my dad was from Ireland, which incidentally looks an awful lot like this. But uh, uh, yeah, so this is the only home that I've ever known. But, uh, but so yeah, Aaron and I, uh, I, think, I think we have that unique perspective, which this is not only a beautiful place, but it's, it's the earliest memories that we have. So. It's, uh, yeah, it was very much that kind of endeavor for me. Uh, you know, getting photo reference and working from that, but then just kind of putting the photo reference down and going, this is the way I remember it, and uh, this, is the, this is the way uh, it is in, in my head, so this is how I'm going to paint it. So the coast, when you say you're painting the coast, people think of water, those kinds of compositions. And living here, I was born here, and my experience of the coast is that, but it's also those places that are inland and those places where people live. Um, and I think that the life of Big Sur really is lived in these deeper, less visible spaces. The pathways that take you up old roads through trees and around the bend and, you know, looking beyond and, you know, kind of heading to the house on the hill. And these are kind of ideas I've been exploring with this more California gold palette. I was actually at Monastery Beach painting and I've been painting at Monastery Beach in Carmel on Mondays since September 2020 and it was the one place that I would find myself going and meeting up with this group of local women and uh, we would each set up somewhere socially distanced from one another and just paint all morning and then have a picnic and on this particular day I had forgotten my palette at home and so I was just squeezing paint straight onto the surface and scratching it and scraping it and pushing it and manipulating it. And it was just this way of working that was completely direct. And I had, I either was gonna go home empty handed or I was going to keep going. And I just was flying through these supports, just one after the other after the other and found that something was happening that was really, really exciting to me. Uh, I've always been uh, kind of living on the coast, but say if you look at uh, the sailing ones, uh, this is, these are a Mercury class sailboat. And these are, you know, Carmel Bay. Generally, this is Carmel Beach, and you can see Point Lobos and Pescadero Point. And this is where I grew up. Uh, my dad and I, my brother sometimes, but my dad and I would sail these. My dad was the Commodore down here at Stillwater Yacht Club. And uh, I was just a little, um, 
pier rat that kind of lived my whole summer on that on that little pier and we would jump off the pier and snorkel and eventually scuba dive and and yet sailing was a constant and um it's just uh it's just a it's just a, a memory that i'll never forget uh it was a wonderful memory for me and that was the inspiration to paint these